Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your uh, general love reading for uh, September, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is timestamp. Okay, um, so if you click in the description bar below, cash. Uh, 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 uh. I do apologize, that's my it's actually out of the way, big boy. Um, yeah, if you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that, and that will bring you to the start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, so I'm just going to take this in and uh, clarify possibly some of these and I should see you guys in a bit. So uh, Scorpio, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always Flip switch, whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So you're showing up as the high priestess, which talks about, you know, deep insight, spiritual insight, deep connection. Uh, you got the high priestess twice here, and this is the past. This is how you're seeing this person. So you're showing up as someone who has a deep uh, connection to this person. But there is this five, which talks about you thinking that you're going to lose this or that you're losing this in some way. Um, this is something that you fought or that you think, I would say, because this is current. This is something that you think, you know, brings you emotional fulfillment or would bring you emotional fulfillment. But there is this feeling of you thinking about what's not working or what's not going right. And that's where that feeling of loss is coming from. It's causing some form of confusion for you as well with that seven of cups. Very different to how they're showing up. Um, I'm not sure whether there's been some form of miscommunication that's happening or that's happened. We do have communication in the past here, but I don't feel like it was miscommunication um, because your person is showing up as the knight, the knight of wands, very passionate, very excited. Um, you know, there's a, an energy to them, which is, how do I put that? Um, maybe they're here, there and everywhere, very passionate, excited that type of thing they're seeing this as something that is a uh, new new journey a new chapter new um yeah embarking on a new adventure but they are seeing you kind of there's thoughts or ideas around you being a bit guarded with that with that queen of swords there maybe a bit serious uh, maybe that's how they're ter interpreting it as you being a bit guarded maybe your serious side is coming out but they are seeing you as maybe being a bit guarded but they're feeling about they're, they're wanting to kind of maybe take some action they're showing up as being very different to you though there's justice for them there's this feeling of justice being served things are working out um they're moving away from something i'm not sure what that eight of cups is about I'm moving away from something towards there we go there that's what it is towards that two of cups which talks about um emotional connection so there is this process for them of feeling like they're getting closer to you emotionally, but it's very different to how you're showing up. Something around communication in the past that happened around maybe the result of that communication caused you guys to form a stronger foundation or there was conversation around you guys having some form of stronger foundation or building on something. They've also got the high priestess as well. So they're seeing this as something that's meaningful, deep, spiritual, um, feeling like, yeah, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, which talks about fulfillment on a tangible level. We've got it twice as well. So this person is very much, very much so showing up very different to you. You're bringing a more of a, a serious um, energy to this. Not to say that they're not, they're, but they're more light, not to say they're not serious about this, but they're, they've just got more of a light hearted, um, maybe it's their character. Maybe that's how they are. Very passionate type of person. Maybe you're dealing with, yeah, a very passionate type of person. Maybe that's what's happening here. But there is something around this that you feel 
might not work or <laughs> is it might not work something's not going right in your head in your head i feel like it has to do maybe with this person's character maybe they're a bit too friendly maybe they're a bit too outgoing maybe they're a bit too something um i'm gonna pull on something I'm just gonna pull on this Yeah, we've got the Hermit card there as well. It's causing you to, you know, ask yourself some important questions around this um, King of Cups. When we're talking about King of Cups, we're talking about stability, reliability. This is, you know, family type of energy. When we're talking about the King of Cups, where the King of, uh, for instance, Pentacles is very much, you know, ambitious, uh, you know, more about building and reaping the rewards of what the, the work that you've put in, business, that type of thing. Got the uh, lover's card there. So chemistry. Yeah, you're kind of, uh, I, I feel like, I don't feel like it's warranted what you're processing. Of course, it's warranted to you, but I feel like it's a case of maybe some crop, some wires have been crossed, uh, maybe some communication has been misinterpreted, maybe you're just in misinterpreting their actions, uh, this person seems to be very much outgoing, maybe you're kind of, you know, thinking about, and that's where that hermit card comes into play, thinking about, is this the type of person that matches me, is this the type of person that I can handle or deal with, that type of thing. I wanted to pull on that. Yeah, it seems like they're more so enjoying basking. We do have that eight. Something around them, we've got the three of cups there as well. And we've also got the high priestess, which talks about high commitment. So there's something around them being trapped mentally, whether they feel this could, we've got the three of pentacles there, which talks about third energy, third party. It doesn't have to be just an interference in some way. So there is this, um, or was because it's not showing up here but there was this idea or thoughts about maybe someone else in terms of you uh, and maybe getting in the way of this higher commitment hyphen talks about the high commitment yeah so what we'll do is we'll finish this in the um video uh the next video which is linked in the description bar below we'll see where this moves to guys we'll see you know, whether this gets ironed out. Uh, yeah, so links in the description bar below and I shall see you guys in a bit.